I want to talk about the story of the prodigal son. The story of the prodigal son. Um, if you are interested, you listen very carefully. Sometimes we take things for granted because they are handed to us in a platter of gold. That is how the prodigal son took his father's wealth for granted and it affected him. Sometimes what we have, we should be grateful for that. This boy in particular was not grateful. His father was wealthy and he had a brother. But he was not grateful. He wanted to enjoy his youth immediately. He wanted to lavish things. But his dad told him, take it. Take it easy. Sometimes you are not ready until you are ready. Sometimes you are not ready. There are steps and steps in this life where you jump some step and move to where you think you're supposed to be. There are consequences. And the boys did not agree and said, Dad, give me my portion of inheritance. But the father said, I'm not dead yet. Why do you want to share the inheritance? He said, I want my inheritance. Give it to me now. What's the need? At the end, I'll be the one to collect my inheritance, right? So his dad said, okay, no problem. If that's what you want, I will give you your inheritance. So the dad shared his property into two and gave his son one of the properties. And the son took all the money, changed it to money, and what left. He went to a distant land and what spent all the money. He spent and was living a very uncalled for life, a life that is uncalled for. He was so extravagant. He spent on jewelries, on cars, on women, on friends, and they drained his money. They drained his money. They drained his money. He keep on spending. And before you know it, his money became to go down. 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 Until he has a little bit of money and not big money anymore. So he started asking himself what he would do. And he started managing the money and was managing the money and was managing the money and was managing the money until what the money finished. That same money he was managing was finished. And now he don't know what to do. He started begging for money. He started begging for food. He started begging for different, different things. And when he noticed that life is not that easy anymore, he said, maybe I should get a job. And he started looking for jobs and nobody could hire him. The only place he saw where they would hire him was a place that they rare pigs. So he said, half bread is better than none. Let me walk there. He walked there and... The pay was so little that he couldn't afford to feed. You know what he does now? He will eat the food that was given to the pigs. He eats the food that was given to pigs. He could not do this. I could not do this. He was wearing tattered clothes. He was wearing tattered clothes. He couldn't eat. He couldn't feed. Until one day he sat down. You see this life. Your life 
only change with a decision. He sat down and think and said, what am I doing? I know the son of who I am. What am I doing here? When have this gotten this worst? What? A child of a king. I'm a child of a wealthy man. And I'm here eating with pigs. Well, the servants in my father's house eat well. Eat well. He said, you know what? I will go to my father. And I will tell my father. I have sinned against heaven and against earth and against you. I'm not worthy to be called your son. But please forgive me. I will go and ask my father for forgiveness. And you know what? Hmm. I don't want to be his son. I just want to be his servant. I just want to be his servant. Because I'm not worthy to be called a son anymore. So that I can, I can eat. At least eat. And he went back. When his father saw him, his father ran and hugged his son and said, I have missed you. And he said, what? Father was boy was like, Dad, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a bad child. He said, no, you are my son. But Dad, I have sinned. I'm not worthy to be called your son. He said, don't worry about that. Don't worry, my son. Don't worry. I've forgiven you before you. I never hold any grudge against you. I have forgiven you all this while. Come, come, come. And they took him inside. And they made a very big feast. A very, very big feast for him. For him to be back home. And you know what happened again? When his brother that was a good, the other brother that was a good child came back, he was surprised that they were throwing party for a bad son. And he went to his father and was asking his father, Father, why? I'm a good child. You never threw any party for me. Then look at this bad child that have done wrong all his life. Came back and you're throwing a party for him. Is that good? Is that right? And the father said, my son, my son, my son, my son. This your brother was lost and he was found. He was dead and he was is now alive. But you and me, whatever I eat, you eat. Whatever I drink, you drink. Don't be angry. Okay? Understand. And the brother understood. Now this story is packed with a lot, a lot of things. Let's start with jealousy. 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 His brother saw that his father threw a party for the bad boy and was curious dad why why can't will, will you throw such party for my brother and don't throw any party for me and his father had to explain nobody is above jealousy sometimes it haunts you but you need the right knowledge for you to be able to fight jealousy sometimes even today i have to tell myself don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. One of my friends that something is good is happening to her. I'm happy for her, but I'm like asking myself, am I not good? Why is this not happening to me? But on second thought, I say, why will I? I am too high of a human. I'm too high a creature to belittle myself and think like, like a worm. I will not be jealous. 
I'm happy for her. I have my own blessings. And I believe my blessings will come. So you need a stronger muscle, a stronger knowledge to be able to fight jealousy, to be able to fight it. Another thing that is seen in this is there are stages in life. Yes, that son will one day earn his father's property, but that time he was not ready. Sometimes things God allow things to wait until we are ready because he need to prepare us he know to have experience he need us for us to make mistakes he need us for us to have enough experience so that we will not lose more he let us to lose more so that we will not lose more but we are always fast we major our 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 socks our 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 our, our miles or achievement with the achievement of another person now let me tell you something everybody is different everybody's story and examination questions are different and the last thing or one of the other thing I got from these stories when you have realized that you were wrong there is no shame in turning making a new turn when you realize that you are doomed, that you are like you are really in the wrong path, there is no shame in making a new U-turn. There is no shame in going back and saying I was wrong. There is no shame in going back and what redo it again, do it right. And it's never too late to do it right. Um, I hope this video was helpful. I know yeah, Jesus Christ was one that told this story. He was talking the story of how God forgives all sinners. Yes, that was Jesus Christ's way of, that's why he told the story. That no matter what, no matter what we sinned, that God in heaven always God forgives. There's a place in the Bible that Jesus Christ told his disciples. He said, I am not the one that is accusing you guys in front of heaven, in front of God. It's the devil. It's the devil. I will never go and report you to God. The person that does that is the devil. Actually, I support you. God is for us. God is for us. I always want you to have this in your mindset. God is for you. When you understand that it's not for us, it's for you. It's for me. It's not for we. That is why I, in my culture, that's what they call Chi, my personal God. My personal God. That is how you have to create this kind of relationship where you can say my personal God my chinkim my own God God for me God for me God for me at the end of it all I have the summary of it all he is for you at the summary of it all he is for you and the summary of it all, he is for you. You make a mistake, you sinned, you messed up, you are incomplete, you are broken, you are there, you are back. He is to stay, I'm not judging. In fact, I'm cheering for you. In fact, I'm your cheerleader. I'm for you. I will always stand. I'm reliable. After everything you turn back, you will see me with you. You do everything you are going to do. You turn back. I never left. I never left. God never left. God was so kind to me to open my eyes to understand this concept.
And whenever I remember this concept, I feel this kind of warmth. And I've received a lot of miracles in my life, knowing that at the end, God is for me. It's not for us. At the end, He's for me. He does what favors me. He does what favors me. I want you to understand that and start believing that. When you, God will always stand by you. I know you say after, if you're sinning, he has already forgiven you before you even ask for forgiveness. He's your G. He's your guy. He never left. Sometimes we ask ourselves, God, are you still listening? God, are you still there? God, when? God, am I too sinful that you have gone? No. He's there. Say, speak to him. He's listening. Speak to him. He's there. He's listening. Yes. Tell him what you want to Yes, he's God. He will do the one he wants to do. And leave the one he don't want. But you have to talk to him. You have to relate to him. You have to. He's there. He, he has never left. And my dear, he's with you 100%. He has not said, oh, you are full of crap. I'm leaving you. He's not like a man. God is never, never like a man. To turn and say, I'm going. I'm leaving. No. He does not do that. He does not say that. Say, God is for me. God is for me. God for me. God for me. I hope this story was really interesting. I hope you learned something. I hope the Holy Spirit opened your eyes to learn something from this story. If you like this story, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I want to hear more from you. Bye.